Hi, I'm Michael Feinstein. Welcome to TCM, and thanks for joining us on this first day of our month-long Summer Under the Stars Festival. Since 6 a.m. this morning, we've had Edward G. Robinson in the spotlight. Robinson is best known for his work in film noir, crime dramas, and gangster movies, but he would occasionally stretch his acting legs a little. And right now we have him in a mystery melodrama, one we're showing for the first time here on TCM from 1947. It's The Red House. Robinson plays a farmer with a wooden leg living with his sister and an orphaned teenage girl, the siblings whom he took in years ago. A friend of the girl's comes to help on the farm, but when he takes a shortcut home through the woods, an irate Robinson warns him of the dangers lurking therein, not least of which is this strange abandoned red house. It seems that this house has a secret and as the movie unfolds, the real danger of this red cabin in the woods just might reveal itself. Our man of the day, Edward G. Robinson, not only stars in this film, but he also co-produced it with his partner, Saul Lesser, through their company, Thalia Productions. This was their first effort as producers, but while they were only first-timers, they brought in some top-flight talent to make The Red House. The director is Delmer Daves. There's also a haunting score by Miklas Roja, which was one of the first commercially issued film scores on 78s. Also, there's atmospheric cinematography by Burt Glennon. So from 1947, also starring Lon McAllister, Judith Anderson, Rory Calhoun, and a very young, scene-stealing Julie London, here is the TCM premiere of The Red House.